When you run Test Cafe Studio for the first time, you'll see the welcome window that allows you to start creating tests immediately. Enter the Tested Sites URL and click this button. Test Cafe Studio creates a directory for storing your tests and adds a new test to it. Then it launches the default browser with the tested site and starts recording your activity on the web page. While you're interacting with the web page, Test Cafe Studio is adding your actions to the test. You can view them in the test editor during the recording. Now let's insert an assertion action into the test. It will verify that the thank you page displays the name entered earlier. Test Cafe Studio offers various types of assertions to perform different verifications. We'll use the deep equal assertion. To add the assertion, click it on the actions panel. The assertion has been added to the test. Now we'll specify its parameters. First, select an element whose property you are going to check. Click this button and hover over the page header. The element selector pop-up will suggest a CSS selector that identifies the page header. Click the page header to add the selector to the assertion. Next, select the property you want to verify. The value field displays the property's current value. The expected field should contain the property's expected value. You can copy the current value to the expected field by clicking this button. To evaluate the assertion, click the Assertion Status button. The button's icon indicates that the assertion has passed. To stop the recording, click the Stop Recording button. The test editor allows you to view and modify the test. For example, you can change the test name, reorder and delete actions, or change their parameters. Let's change the developer name in two actions. Type text and deep equal assertion. Test Cafe Studio can run tests in all popular browsers. It automatically detects browsers installed on the local computer and creates test run configurations for them. We'll use the All configuration that allows running the test in multiple browsers. Select it in the list and click the Run button. Test Cafe Studio starts executing the test within several browsers in parallel. After the test execution is over, the Reports panel displays the test result. The green color indicates that the test has passed. Click the test result to see a complete report in the Report tab. And that's it! You've seen how to quickly record, modify, and run a simple test, and view test results. If you'd like to learn more about Test Cafe Studio, you can watch more videos from our playlist, or check out the documentation on our website. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.